all of that was just like a layer above. Does that mean I'm still wearing a... Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. Light and play in the tombs. Huh? Now you believe me? Whoa. Okay, that was weird. I just had a few drinks out here on my balcony, and suddenly I thought I was in something called virtual reality. And not in just virtual reality, but many, many instances of virtual reality. Huh. But that stuff doesn't exist. It's 1908. And I'm an investigator in Great Britain. And I've got a case to solve. Let's go back to work. Hello, Wolfpack. And welcome to the Room VR. A dark matter. Things are about to get spooky. Now, The Room was a very popular mobile game originally, and they had a few of those, and they finally made the jump to virtual reality. And we are going to be dealing with escape room-like mechanics, a lot of puzzles with a story tying it all together. I'm very excited. Let's go. Oh. Bloomsbury Police Station, 6.18 p.m. the 22nd of October, 1908. It's getting dark. I should go back to work. It really is a beautiful night. Flag is flying. It's a really cool little area. Like, the atmosphere is actually surprisingly good. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm gonna look at the door. Hey, it's a door. Teleport to location, alright. Ooh. Aha. Can interact with things. London Police. I'm in the E Division. Guess I'm not good enough for the A Division. Got some old-timey folks sitting here on the board, dealing with cholera, as you are in 1908. And this is a missing persons investigation. Dozens of disappearances in just a few weeks. But this is one of the strangest. Dr. Rupert Montgomery, fellow of the British Institute of Archaeology, was reported missing one week ago. A recent argument regarding professional standards could have contributed to the incident. Hmm. The storage area of the British Institute of Archaeology, where the professor was last seen. How can someone disappear from such a secure building without anyone seeing him leave? Dr. Montgomery specialized in priceless Egyptian relics. He told colleagues he was on the verge of some great discovery. They say he had seemed distracted as of late. Hmm, it's like a lion with something above it there. Interesting. This was the piece the professor was studying when he disappeared. It's a sarcophagus, a... Uh, something Egyptian. Nothing else was missing. No evidence of a struggle or break-in. It doesn't make sense. I should check my desk in case the sergeant has left a report. Alright, I gotta go check the desk. Anything else on here? Some naughty pictures, perhaps? There is my desk. A peculiar old gentleman was asking after you. He gave me a parcel, said it would help with the disappearances. I swear the damn thing was making the strangest noise, though the constable told me I was hearing things. I put it in your wall safe if you want to see it for yourself, Sarge. Sarge, did you just put a bomb into my wall safe? Because that's not... that's not cool. Aha, there's a key in here. A key, thank you. Yes, I have it. And it's in my inventory. Open inventory, got it. Got the key, insert the key into my safe. Okay. <laughs> what? That's not a normal. What was that? I need to get this open. Perhaps there is something in evidence storage that can help. Um, yeah, Sarge, what the hell did you just put in my safe? Please file evidence with the correct case number for easy retrieval. The filing system isn't that complicated. You're a detective. Work it out. Love, Sarge. Okay, we need something to open a safe. We got 
something, arson, assault, safe cracking. That seems good. And of course, that's gone. A 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6. So this is probably 06. I'm sure we confiscated something that can help me crack a safe. Yeah, no, I already figured it out, me. My internal monologue. But what number? We p h Weapon? Weapon? Is this going to spell out something? E division box. So W E. What? Adam Wright? W Evans E. Oh, I got this. William Clark is probably a C. Perfect. And boom. Oh, what do we got? Ooh, yeah. Oh, a safe cracker. I was kind of hoping for a nutcracker, but this'll do. A clipboard. Lovely. Is that, that it? Just showing me that it cut a hole into a safe. That's pretty impressive, actually. Can I grab something else out of here? Like, what did this guy use for assault? Zero, three. Close that. Can I get a gun? Because if I can get a gun, like, off the bat, I'm going to feel a lot safer. Oh, shit, yeah. A dagger. Uh, uh, slice, slice. Anything weird happens? I have a dagger now. Okay, let's grab the safe cracker. Just put that on. Is that it? That's as easy as it is to crack into a safe? It's supposed to be a really thin safe. I feel like I'm opening a can of Chef Boyardee. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh, these turn. Okay, just gotta connect the gears then, right? Those go there. You go there. That seems. Hell. Oh my god. Hey, Sarge? You there, buddy? Because I'm gonna request you never put anything into my safe again. Ooh. Ooh. It makes the lights shift. Uh, I'm just gonna pick it up, because that seems smart. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, why is this a horror game? I thought this was just puzzles. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, a new letter. Forgive my unorthodox approach, detective, but I have vital information related to a case you are investigating. Who, Rupert? I'm sure you have questions, so please take these lenses and let me show you what I cannot explain. This is only the beginning. Signed, The Craftsman. Uh... Home... That's just not gonna stop, is it? Okay... What is this? I'm just gonna keep turning. What the hell? Alright, hold on. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh, wait. Okay, so... God, everything's a puzzle. Ah, I had to be smart about it. Whoa, these are like some old-timey aviation goggles. Kind of cool. Do I just slap them on? Whoa. Press open the inventory and pull the highlighted tab. Oh. Whoa! Sick. Holy crap. What? My footprints going back and forth? Or is this him? Is this the craftsman? He was here? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Hi, little device. Um... Okay. I'm just gonna put on my spectacles here real quick. What the hell? What are these symbols? Oh, his hand was right there. I'm standing where the craftsman was. Alright, we got some sort of box here. There's a star on top of this. Can I turn this? And now that's a bad moon sign. Though I can't turn that anymore. Oh, wait, I can... Oh, what the hell? Am I just trying to find different pieces of this device? Um, did I do it? 
Do I need this on anymore? There's a hint available. Psh, pass. Uh, and I'm guessing I take the curious artifact and place it here? Oh no. This is bad. What have I awoken? Why do I trust things intrinsically? Oh god. Uh. Whoa. What is happening? Where am I? What? Oh shit. Hello, little piece of paper. There are four spots here. I'm guessing we're gonna need four artifacts. I don't like this dark, freaking Stranger Things world. Welcome, detective, to the hidden realm of the Knoll. <laughs> Can I leave? The disappearances you are investigating are part of something more sinister than you could imagine. I can show you what happened to these people and perhaps together we can avert any further loss. This document is no ordinary letter. The Knoll connects it to me, its author. Use the eyepiece to reveal that connection. Find the others, discover their fates, love the craftsmen. Uh, okay. Sure. Whoa, there's a hole in your paper, my dude. Do I have to look through it? Oh, I'm guessing I just do this? Hi. You must be the craftsman. Okay. No. The British Institute of Archaeology. This is the room Dr. Montgomery was working in. That went way too fast. Uh, when he disappeared. So this is where the doctor was, huh? Yeah, I remember this from the pictures. Uh, and I guess we're here now. Awful noises coming from over there. We got a rope and pulley system. This is just going to be one giant puzzle, isn't it? I guess let's go to the noise first. Huh. Hello. There are so many- ooh, a letter. I had the porter pull the sarcophagus from storage again tonight, hoping for a breakthrough. The imagery seems to relate to a practice of taking devout followers with them to another life. They believed this rite could trap and contain their souls, but the hieroglyphs didn't follow any known lexicon. It makes no sense. I think this note's by Montgomery. Oh, can I use this to look through? Yeah, there we go. Ah, there's Dr. Montgomery looking at the sarcophagus and then disappearing. Oh, dear God. Oh, no, I want to look again. Judge him. Find him in the beginning. He waits at the temple. What does that mean? Some instructions. Oh, it's the lion statue. Shit. Seriously? Lightning? Come on. What does that say? Something written on the door. Find him. <laughs> this is freaky as hell. Find him at the beginning. A lot of symbols over there. Oh, mama. All right. Let's see. Is there anything else? Can I touch this? No nothing I can really do. Aha. Oh, there's something turning there. Is there. Ah, okay, that seems like it'll be important for something. I have a box that I cannot interact with. Um, this is telling me the pulley system will bring, I guess, I'm guessing the sarcophagus out. So that's, I guess, what we need to do is get the sarcophagus. Let's go here. Another box. Can't do anything. Here's some ropes. Ah, here we go. Huh. I'm lowering what looks like Frankenstein's bed. And I'm also raising a weight there. Can't grab any more. Okay, that's... I gotta figure out a way for maybe the pulley or something to go under that weight. Huh. It's a cool noise. Not sure. So this is... Oh, yep. There is our sarcophagus, uh, behind some apparently locked doors. There we go. One, 
twist and pull. All right, now we should be able to open this door, which is attached to a pulley system right here. Ah, so this switches between this weight and the doors. So we want to make it go to the doors. Now I should be able to open the doors. There we go. Mmm. It's all coming together. I don't want this sarcophagus out. I, you know, it's just why, why would I do that to myself? Come on out. <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen, right? Jeez, that is it's impressive. Okay, whoa. It's missing a face. There's a scarab. Another note. The porter was back asking about my progress. A curious fellow, he seemed almost amused that I couldn't crack the code. He gave me a parcel, said it had been left for me in the post room. Inside was an odd-looking lens, along with a note that said the lens would help me in my work. Goodness knows how, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. You mean, like this lens? Oh, there we go, right here. Alright, there's Dr. Montgomery. He's looking at a box, he's opening the box. And suddenly there's just a box on the desk. Oh, this is supernatural as hell, huh? Uh, head of the baboon, right boob of the man, left boob of the jackal, crotch of the falcon. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go check this box out, I guess. Here we go. Oh, I really like the black smoke coming from that. That makes it seem really safe and promising that we're going to have a good time. This lens looks like it will fit my eyepiece. All right, let's just throw this in our eye. What's the worst thing that could happen, right? Oh, God, my face. Use the eyepiece. Open the inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put it on. Ooh. Whoa. Use the new lens to reveal secrets hidden behind shimmering surfaces. Whoa. I can't do anything with that, but I can see... Whoa, something's here. Interesting. There's like... What? Uh... Do I want them all to be the same? Wait. Okay, because then... Hold on. Can I remove my finger and then do this one? I oh. did something there. Oh, yay. More puzzles. Don't know what that means. I'm sure there are some crazy little stuff. Another one. Can't open the box yet, right? No. He waits at the temple. All right, remember we also had this thing. That. We have a hole there. Uh, oh, there is something happening here. Hello there. Let me just throw my lens. Uh, okay. I need something. This looks like it has to go through a maze. And then it's going to come to this position, and that'll open up this sarcophagus. Uh, but I don't see anything else. Um, did I miss anything here? Oh, yeah, maybe. Ah, a brass weight. Oh, I bet you know what? Mm, that is going right to this spot. That looks perfect. Nailed it. Aha! Some kind of Egyptian tool. This looks like a... Like what they kind of shoved up the nose to get all the brain goop out. God. Why does it have to be raining? The atmosphere is really good here. Okay, let's put that in. You know where we haven't looked yet is this spot right here. Aha! Um, there's a knife stuck in here. Good thing I already have a knife. Something, something. Okay, let's throw on our lens. Ah, look at a little switch. 
Oh yeah! Now I've got a- I have two daggers now! Can I dual wield? Oh, my dagger's gone. Damn it. Mm -mm. Does this do anything? Put that in the inventory. I don't see anything. Aha! Interesting, interesting. Just a scale. Can't tell what's on it. It looks like a harp or something. Fine, fine by me. Um, okay, I wonder because I have that tool if I can shove it into this thing. So let's grab this. Can this go in there? Yes, it can. Oh, hell yeah. Now I just have to bring this. Is this like operation where if I touch the sides, I, I lose? I'm being very careful. And then, ooh, slide, and then click. Hell yeah. What the hell is this? A tool with a distinctly shaped head. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't remember what symbol that is. Oh, and an engraved stone disc. Okay, I need to turn this. Can't turn that yet. I have a disc. I have so many things. What is happening? I'm just collecting items, and I need to use them. All right, what can we do over here? Okay, that is entirely unnecessary. Lightning gods. Uh, stone disc. Does this also go here? No. Okay, can I do anything with this? What's this? This is something. Oh, wait. Uh, that looks like... Yeah! Now what? Oh, shove it in. An engraved cylinder. Sure. Why not? It's kind of cool. Like, you get different parts from each station, and then you move to the next one. Engraved cylinder. Engraved cylinder. Probably something here, right? Flip on our lens. Oh, there's a heart. That's so nice. The craftsman is a really nice guy, just leaving me little... Love notes everywhere. I don't see anything here. Can this do anything? Gravestone disc? Nope. Nope. Um, Alright, what about you? Cylinder? Nope. Tool with a weird shaped head? No. Have I seen this anywhere? No. Alright, we're back at the sarcophagus. Here's a hole. Maybe the engraved stone disc is here. Aha! Uh -huh. What's gonna happen? Oh, we got all shimmery here. Throw on the lens. What the fuck? So we gotta get the blue in the middle, right? But the uh, blue's already in the middle. Oh, wait. So if I turn this, and if I... Oh, so it carries the color depending on what I'm turning. Got it. So we need this one to be green, this one to be red. So let's get the red over here. Gotta transfer it all. There we go. Then that one will be blue eventually. So now we need to get the greens over to here. Easy. Your puzzles don't stump me. And hey, look, I recognize that symbol. Perfect. Clunk. In it goes. Can I... Oh, just gonna turn it. Oh, shit. What? Do I have to... Lightning. Do I have to lift this? Uh... Oh, right, this thing. This thing probably comes down. So we've got to... Flip this back to the weight. And then we go over here. And we switch the rope. And that will bring down Frankenstein's slab. Which will then lift up the... I don't want... No, stop. Grab it. I don't want to lift up the freaking sarcophagus, though. Like, what if there's an evil curse in there? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I am making terrible decisions. I don't really want to find... Rupert Montgomery that bad. Oh my god. Look at you. You beautiful specimen. 
Oh, I can grab your chin parts. Hello. I am an ancient Egyptian evil pharaoh. And it is a bad decision to fuck with me. You see this black smoke? Don't do it. Yep, I'm gonna listen to him. Alright, what is going on here? Got little sliders by some shovels. Got a little person's head. An ornate golden orb. Whoa. Okay, what? How... Do I have to fill the holes? Is there something I'm missing here? Shake it. That goes there, that goes there. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I got three now. Oh! I don't know, I just started shaking it. I literally did nothing but that. Cool! Now it looks neat. Is this a weapon? Huh. Damn it. An ornate golden orb. Ah, uh, all right, sure. Got another piece of our puzzle right here. Still don't know what this is. Maybe I'm missing some symbols from something. Um, there's like a little secret hieroglyphic somewhere that I'm missing. Wait, here we go. Oh yeah, that one's perfect. Okay, if that one goes on that because that's the weird symbol in the triangle, then this one has to go on one of these, right? And it's just going to be, aha, yeah. Half a gilded scarab. Interesting. Which means we can do the other one by trial and error too. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can't. I can't do the bottom one. I'm missing whatever the piece is. Crap. Okay, so we have to find that piece. Now, I think the scarab goes here. We're just going to pop this right there. Yeah. Now I need to find another half of that scarab. What would go here? Perhaps my ornate golden orb. Oh, yep. Do I open? Ah, and here's where my engraved cylinder comes in. And now what? Oh, we have to follow the path. Okay, maybe we'll start on this side. Oh, here we go. So it has to be there, which means that this one has to be there. Perfect. And then done. Oh, and there's the second half of our gilded scarab pop. Perfect. What the hell? Oh my god. What is this crap? I don't want I don't want to touch that. Oh. <laughs> what? What is this? Some weird door thing. Oh, I can turn it. And then I can I see am I just like recreating the door? And then we go red. Got to swing this one all the way around. Oh. Oh, hey! What are you doing now? This is very intricate. I'm really lucky that Dr. Montgomery found all of these pieces and kept them together because they each have a puzzle piece for the other ones. Uh, so this is a piece to that, I'm assuming. Here we go. And then this can go onto here. And now we just do trial and error, right? So we'll do buzzard. Nothing. Crane. Oh, got it. And now we have a handle. And I think I needed a handle over here. Plop. Yes. Now we can turn this. And then insert that. The hell is this? Decorated amulet. Does that go up here? It doesn't. Oh, these were giving me clues for the, uh, the little thing over there. Psh. I don't need clues. I'm a man of my own regard. Okay, so I have a decorated amulet. No idea what that is for. You need something here, and I'm guessing it is parts of these. Am, am I right? Yeah, you're right. You're so freaking smart. Thank you. 
Thank you, Tutankhamen. Really appreciate that. Uh, now this needs something. Perhaps it is my decorated amulet. It is not. They do not want my decorated amulet. Um, oh, shit. Wait. Ah. Okay. That's a normal thing to happen. <sighs> night after night I return. When all those ignorant fools have gone home. The lens has opened my eyes. I can't believe I was once as blind as them. The work is hard. My tiredness has become a distraction. I'm starting to hear things. Whispers. Voices. Always loudest near the coffin. Oh. Oh, God. No. Uh-huh. There he is. Dr. Montgomery. Hearing his whispers. Getting freaked out by them. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, Dr. Montgomery. Okay, now we saw these symbols on the coffin here. Uh, right here, so I'm guessing that is where they go. A clunk. And a clunk. And then these go... into that? Do you do anything? Oh, I can take it out. Got it. Stone tile holding a metal token. All right, um, now what? Aha! So this goes here. Now what game are we playing? Oh, I need to make all of these light up blue. Oh, you sneaky little, little jerk face. Uh, okay, let's do this. This. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. And boom. Yeah, total smarty pants. Oh, right, there's another one on the other side. I like that. These puzzles are fun. They, they flow really well together. Bring it down, click you, Blue. Go down, get that guy. Spin around, get you. Don't go through the middle, that's the trick. Mmm, that one's easy. And voila! Oh, crap! It's the monkey! A wire basket? Oh, look at there's an organ in it! Egyptians used to do that. They would put organs into different... I can't remember what these are called. Uh... I used to know the word. But yeah, that's crazy! Oh, gross! So we go back here, and alright, Jackal was on the opposite side of the human. Uh, the baboon was at the head because it's so smart. And the falcon right in the crotch. Oh, this is not good. Do you see the black smoke? You should not open its mouth. Who cares where Dr. Montgomery went? Who cares about this craftsman? Just go back to being a regular detective and solving crimes. Oh, God. Oh, crap. I'm letting evil out into the world. I am a really bad person. Holy shit! Hi. Um... You're a mummy. I'm a British police officer. I really should have done this with an accent. Oh, top top cheerio! Yeah, I'm glad I didn't either. Oh, wow. Let's just defy all the dead here. Does this go there? That looks like it belongs. <laughs> oh, God. No. Nope. I'm not. Nope. This is where I'm out. I'm not grabbing the frickin' mummy's heart. Look at these, like, horrible, evil tendrils just coming out. Why would I do this? Ah, oh, God. All right. F don't. If you come to frickin' alive. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. Kind of a small heart. Maybe he was really like malnourished. That's why he died as young as he did. Okay, what do I do with a heart? Well, I don't I don't know. I don't remember seeing a heart thing. Do you want a heart? Would you like a human heart in you? No, no, of course you don't. Anything special here? Nope. Nothing here. Oh, I bet you want like 
a human heart as an offering. Sure, there, there you go. Great, awesome. Yep, I'm just gonna start pulling handles again. Whoa. What is back there? It's like an ancient Egyptian room, but look at the size of those tendrils. Okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Um, what am I doing? Am I cutting this rope? Oh, this is the weighing thing. The heart and... It looks like a harp or something? Instrument? A feather, maybe? Alright, I guess we're just gonna cut the rope. Oh, that is a heavy heart. Oh, okay. Hey, no, no, no. We don't need to do anything crazy. Oh my god. Oh, shit. What are you guys... Oh, no! Oh, I've made... Just a terrible mistake. Oh, God. It's always been here. He's always been here. Since the beginning. Waiting. Waiting at the beginning. Isn't that what... Find him at the beginning, yeah. Okay, hold on, let me read the rest. At the temple, that's what it said on the table there. They all wait at the beginning. I see them. They aren't blind like me. Alright, where am I... Looking. This is so freaky. Oh. Oh, he's got he's got one of the artifact things that I grabbed from my office. What? What is it doing? Oh, it just sucked him up. Nope, 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 nope. Why would I pick that up? You just saw it vacuum up a man. Why do I trust this craftsman guy? Oh, this is stupid. I'm a stupid detective. Oh, fine. Yeah, I know it's a curious artifact. <sighs> Ooh, okay, yep. Back to my null world. Where we're just gonna throw this bad boy down. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's building like a... Like an arch or something. Yay, more more letters. This craftsman character, he's really good at writing. Welcome back, Detective. Thank you. It's really nice to be here. Perhaps now you can understand the danger we face. I don't. This weird demonic crap crawling over everything? The artifact you collected now holds the very essence, the soul, if you will, of the professor. Rupert? Rupert's in there? His sacrifice will help further my work and bring these arcane forces safely under my control. Onward to another of those lost unfortunates, a servant of God this time. He was searching for some long-forgotten relic. You must uncover what he found. Love the craftsman. I don't... I don't really want to. You know, I'm fine if these tentacles take over the world, as long as it's like, you know, give me a few days to play more games and shit. All right. Where are you taking me now, craftsman? Oh, there's a priest. Reading the good book. A church. Perhaps this reverend will have some answers for me. He won't. He's been sucked up by an artifact, too. This is all just... freaky. Uh, time to explore the church.